It's no secret that our planet is brimming with undiscovered finds. Each day, our brilliant scientists and archaeologists try their best to unravel all there is to discover about our planet. From a previously unknown particle to an ancient crusader sword, here are 20 amazing findings. Number 20. The God Particle One of the most significant breakthroughs of this century is the discovery and progress in our understanding of the Higgs boson, also known as the God Particle. But what exactly is the Higgs boson? It holds the key to unraveling the fundamental workings of the universe at its deepest level. This minuscule particle was first hypothesized by luminaries such as the revered physicist Peter Higgs. You see, it's the messenger particle associated with this enigmatic Higgs field. It manifests itself through the colossal efforts of scientists at the awe-inspiring Large Hadron Collider, nestled deep beneath the Earth's surface. By accelerating particles to unimaginable speeds and smashing them together, they unlock the door to the quantum realm, revealing the presence of this elusive boson. Okay, it's something monumental for scientists, but why is the God Particle so significant for the rest of us? The Higgs boson's existence confirms the existence of the Higgs field itself, bestowing particles with mass. It's akin to unraveling a profound cosmic secret, as we now possess empirical evidence supporting a fundamental aspect of the standard model of particle physics. The theoretical framework elucidating the intricate interplay between particles and forces. The Higgs boson unveils the reason why certain particles possess mass while others glide weightlessly through the cosmos. Without the Higgs field, the universe would lack substance, void of the stars, the planets, and even ourselves. Basically, this particle is among the keys to the secrets of how we came to be. Today, we're still far from fully understanding this particle, but scientists are on their way to doing so. Number 19. Fossilized pigments reveal the color of dinosaur eggs. For so long, we've wondered about the mystery of dinosaurs. Recently, a new discovery shed some light on one of the most intriguing aspects of these creatures, their physical appearance. And are the depictions we have of them totally accurate? Recent research has uncovered something extraordinary. Scientists have stumbled upon pigments in fossilized eggshells from various dinosaur species. That's right, we're talking about dinosaur eggs. These findings indicate that the incredible range of colors and patterns we see in modern bird eggs can be traced back to their ancient dinosaur ancestors. This discovery adds yet another piece to the puzzle of dinosaur science. Now this poses the question, did birds inherit their egg color from their non-avian dinosaur ancestors, or did they evolve it independently? Number 18. Synthetic Bacteria this microscopic helix shape is the smallest and simplest genome possible. You're looking at an engineered life form that can move by itself. A team of Japanese researchers took a simple synthetic bacterium that doesn't have the ability to move on its own. Afterward, they introduced unique proteins from other bacteria known to enable movement. Now, this is incredibly hard to do at a microscopic level. After editing the bacterium, it changed its shape and gained the ability to move around. Now, before we dive deeper into this mind-blowing achievement, let's rewind a bit. In 2010, scientists at JCVI, short for J. Craig Venter Institute, rocked the world by creating the first ever completely synthetic life form. It was a microorganism crafted from an artificial chromosome, meticulously designed using a computer and composed of four chemicals. But you know how science works, right? It's all about pushing the boundaries and making things even more mind-boggling. Since that groundbreaking moment, other brilliant scientists have worked tirelessly to refine the recipe. Their goal? To create a life form with the smallest, simplest genome possible while still allowing it to grow and divide just like natural cells. And that brings us to this remarkable swimming organism known as SYN3, our tiny self-propelled wonder. With its newfound ability to move independently, it's earned the title of the smallest mobile life form in the scientific arena. Number 17. Evidence of Planet 9 Planet 9, also known as Planet X, is a compelling subject of study in astronomy. The existence of this hypothetical planet is inferred from observed anomalies in the orbits of distant icy objects beyond Neptune. These peculiar orbital behaviors suggest the presence of a massive, undiscovered planet exerting gravitational influence on its surroundings. Before, Pluto was considered one of the planets until it was demoted to a minor planet. However, 
Scientists are now convinced that a ninth major planet exists. Despite extensive efforts, Planet 9 has yet to be directly observed. Its elusive nature stems from its hypothesized elongated and highly inclined orbit, which implies a lengthy orbital period spanning potentially thousands of years. The prolonged duration of its orbit makes locating Planet 9 an intricate and challenging task for astronomers. There are claims that Planet 9 is closer than we think, but to this day, its existence remains controversial. Number 16. The CRISPR Baby Issue the controversial topic of CRISPR editing on babies involves altering the genetic makeup of human embryos using the CRISPR-Cas9 technology. In 2018, Chinese scientist He Jian Kui made headlines by announcing that he had successfully used CRISPR to create the world's first gene-edited babies. This announcement sparked an immediate backlash from the scientific community, who condemned the experiments as unethical and raised concerns about the baby's health. His work violated medical regulations, and he was subsequently sentenced to three years imprisonment. China has since implemented regulations prohibiting the modification of human embryos for reproductive purposes. However, the ethical concerns surrounding experimental research extend beyond China. Scientists and experts worry about the possibility of rogue individuals or companies conducting inappropriate genome editing. Despite the controversy, CRISPR-Cas9 and related techniques have made significant contributions to biomedical research. Clinical trials are underway to test the safety and effectiveness of gene editing in treating various conditions, including sickle cell disease, beta thalassemia, inherited childhood blindness, blood cancers, type 1 diabetes, and HIV AIDS. These trials involve altering non-reproductive cells, known as somatic gene editing. The field of gene therapy holds promise for treating genetic diseases, but it also raises questions of access and affordability. However, there is the question of ethics and morality involved. Number 15. NASA just knocked an asteroid out of its orbit. Did you know that NASA just successfully knocked an android out of its orbit? This might sound unbelievable, but it's probably not what you think. NASA has successfully completed a mission to deflect an asteroid demonstrating humanity's ability to protect Earth from potentially devastating cosmic objects. The Double Asteroid Redirection Test Impactor, or DART Impactor for short, collided with a small asteroid named Dimorphos, successfully altering its orbit around the larger asteroid, Didymos. The impact changed Dimorphos' orbital period by 32 minutes, surpassing expectations. While the asteroid pair poses no threat to Earth, the mission serves as a proof of concept for the kinetic impact method of planetary defense. The success of DART brings science fiction scenarios from movies like Armageddon and Deep Impact closer to reality. By refining techniques for asteroid deflection, scientists are better prepared for future situations where Earth is at risk. The mission also provided insight into the composition and structure of the asteroid, highlighting the potential impact of ejecta blastoff in altering its trajectory. NASA continues to study potentially hazardous near-Earth objects, with plans to launch the Near-Earth Object Surveyor in 2026. Sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, huh? Number 14. What the Universe Looked Like Before Everything The universe's formation has been a persistent puzzle, evoking curiosity and intrigue throughout history. Some take the theist route and believe the universe started with the word. It began when a supreme, all-knowing deity initiated the creation of planets, the sun, and the stars, while also infusing life into our planet, Earth. Some theories propose that life originated from a colossal explosion, acting as a transformative catalyst. We all have our truths, and at the end of the day, we can believe what we want to believe in. Now this new breakthrough supports the Big Bang Theory. Scientists discovered six massive behemoth galaxies that are as old as our very own Milky Way galaxy. These ancient galaxies challenge what we thought we knew about the universe. After analyzing the data gathered from these newly discovered galaxies, scientists found that they are 13.1 billion light years away and have about 100 billion stars. Number 13. Prehistoric Rainforest 15 million years ago, Australia was a paradise of thriving rainforests. Deep within the southeast region, an ancient river meandered, creating a lake over time. This tranquil water body became a final resting place for fish and other creatures, preserved for millions of years beneath layers of iron-rich sediment. Fast forward to the present day, when a farmer named Nigel stumbled upon extraordinary fossils left behind by the once ancient forest on the continent. 
This is McGarth's Flat, a site no larger than a football field but brimming with over 2,000 fossils from the Miocene epoch. What makes this discovery even more astounding is the exceptional preservation of delicate flora and soft-bodied fauna, typically challenging to fossilize. These ancient relics offer us a glimpse into the intricate details of creatures that once thrived, with remnants of pigment sacs hinting at their vibrant colors. Scientists can now study these fossils under microscopes and reveal even more secrets without damaging them. Number 12. Artificial Womb Pregnancy is tough. Women carry a child inside their bodies, and it's a very arduous but rewarding feat. Most bodies are suitable for conceiving and giving birth, but unfortunately, many women lose their lives while trying to bring their children into this world. That's why many are looking forward to the use of artificial wombs. Hashem Al-Ghali is a science communicator and biotechnologist hailing from Berlin. He's the mastermind behind this mind-blowing project that has been developed over an impressive 50 years span of scientific research. With Ectolife, Algali aims to provide hope to infertile couples who dream of conceiving and becoming biological parents. Imagine having the option to engineer and customize your baby's genetic makeup before they even come into existence. With Ectolife's elite package, this futuristic possibility becomes a reality. This cutting-edge technology allows couples to take control and make informed choices about their baby's genetic traits. It's like designing a unique and personalized blueprint for your future child. One of the most remarkable aspects of Ectolife is its ability to offer hope to couples struggling with infertility. For those who long to have their own offspring but face biological limitations, this technology opens up new doors. Ectolife's advanced facilities can support the growth and development of around 30,000 babies per year. It's an incredible feat that showcases the immense potential of scientific progress. But of course, many believe that artificial conception is inhuman and should be stopped. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Number 11. Massive Fatberg If you're about to take a quick snack break or are eating while watching this, you might want to look away for a quick second. You're looking at a 40-ton blob made of fat, grease, gunk, and other wastes. This so-called fatberg was discovered deep in a sewer in Greenwich in 2019, and it's one of the most gruesome discoveries in the past decade. This fatberg has gone so big that Thames water workers continuously tried removing it for three long weeks. Fatbergs are monstrous formations resulting from a deadly alliance of fat, oil, grease, and a motley crew of items that should never make their way into our toilets. We're talking about non-flushable wet wipes, nappies, cotton buds, and more. When these nasties mix and mingle, they create a slimy, sewer-blocking monster. So make sure you dispose of your waste correctly. Number 10. Enzymes that convert blood types to type O. You might be familiar with the A, B, A, B, and O blood types. Did you know that the presence or absence of specific sugar molecules on the surface of our red blood cells determine blood types? Now here's where things get really interesting. The ABO enzyme, also known as the ABO glycosyltransferases, is key to determining our blood types. This enzyme plays a vital role in adding sugar molecules to a protein called the H antigen, which acts as a precursor. Now let's talk about the mind-boggling possibility of converting blood types. Although it's not yet feasible within the human body, researchers have been making remarkable progress in the laboratory. By tinkering with the genes responsible for producing the ABO enzyme, scientists have created synthetic enzymes that can modify the sugar molecules in red blood cells. This modification allows for blood type conversion, at least in controlled laboratory settings. For instance, scientists have successfully converted type A blood to type O using an enzyme that removes the A sugar molecule from the red blood cell surface. This is incredibly significant because type O blood is considered the universal donor, compatible with any blood type. However, it's crucial to remember that converting blood types is still in its early stages of research and development. There are many hurdles to overcome before this technology can be applied in real-world scenarios. Number 9. Organoids Organoids are among the craziest and most mind-boggling discoveries of modern science. You see, these mini-brains are tiny three-dimensional structures grown from stem cells. They're like simplified versions of real brains, minus the thoughts and consciousness. Scientists use them for research purposes. 
like testing drug responses or observing cell development under different conditions. It's a bit like creating a mini laboratory to study the human brain. This allows scientists to conduct experiments without breaching ethical and moral laws. Although I think some are beginning to believe organoid experiments are part of a gray area, but I digress. Recently, scientists from the University Hospital Dusseldorf in Germany wanted to observe how eyes develop. They wondered if they could grow optic cups, the structures that eventually become the eye as an integrated part of brain organoids. This way, they could see how the brain and the eye tissue grow together, providing a more comprehensive understanding. And guess what? They succeeded. These brain organoids actually grew optic cups that resembled the early stages of eye development. It's incredible! The researchers found that the optic cups contained different types of retinal cells, formed neural networks that responded to light, and even had lens and corneal tissue. They were like tiny eyes in those mini-brains. Number 8. Africa's Oldest Dinosaur Fossil Scientists have recently stumbled upon the remains of Africa's oldest dinosaur while exploring Zimbabwe. The bones were classified as that of the Ambirosaurus rathi, a creature that roamed the Earth more than 230 million years ago. This creature stood slightly over three feet tall and had a long neck and jagged teeth. It belonged to a group called sauropodomorphs, distant relatives of the four-legged sauropods. Now why is this discovery such a big deal? According to Christopher Griffin, one of the scientists on the expedition, this remarkable find provides crucial insight into the evolution and migration of early dinosaurs. Back in the day when the world was one massive continent, Zimbabwe occupied the same latitude as South America, Southern Africa, and India. Number 7. Lab-grown brain cells are learning how to play video games. This might sound strange, but somehow, Australian researchers have managed to grow brain cells in a lab that actually learned to play the classic video game Pong. Yes, you heard that right, brain cells playing video games. This breakthrough could have some seriously tremendous implications for the future of artificial intelligence and medicine. These brain cells, also known as mini-brains, were first created back in 2013 for the study of a genetic disorder called microcephaly, which results in an abnormally small brain. But now, these mini-brains have leveled up. The researchers decided to connect them to a real-life video game, Pong, and see what happened. They grew human brain cells from stem cells and mouse embryos, creating a mini-brain with 800,000 cells. Then, they hooked up this mini-brain to Pong using fancy electrodes that told the cells where the ball was and how close it was to the paddle. When the mini-brain saw the game, the cells started producing electrical activity. The researchers gave them feedback on their performance, letting them know whether they hit the ball or not. And guess what? In just five short minutes, the mini-brain learned how to play Pong. Sure, it missed the ball quite a bit at first, but its connection rate was better than random chance. It's important to note that the mini-brain didn't have consciousness like a human, so it had no clue it was playing a video game. But over time, it got better and better. It started nailing shots, engaging in longer rallies, and even played a staggering 486 matches. That's not all. The researchers conducted different games where some cells received feedback and others didn't. And you know what happened? The cells that got feedback actually learned from it. Now, scientists have their sights set on testing the mini-brain's reaction to alcohol. Fascinating, right? They hope this research will eventually contribute to finding better treatments for neurodegenerative diseases like dementia. Understanding how brain cells process information in real time opens up a whole new realm of possibilities for further research. Number 6. First Image of a Black Hole Did you know that scientists recently captured the first ever photo of a black hole? Now you might think that's nothing special, but hear me out. Black holes have always been shrouded in mystery, lurking in the darkest corners of space. These cosmic monsters possess such an intense gravitational pull that nothing, not even light, can escape their grasp. So capturing an image of something that devours light is no small feat. The extraordinary image of a black hole is thanks to an international collaboration called the Event Horizon Telescope, or EHT. The black hole in question, located at the heart of a distant galaxy called Messier 87, or M87, is a behemoth with a mass several billion times that of our Sun. 
The image captured by the EHT shows a glowing ring of superheated gas swirling around the black hole's event horizon, the point of no return, where everything gets pulled beyond the grasp of standard physics. But here's the thing, the photo doesn't actually show the black hole itself, as black holes are, well, black. Indeed, it captures the glowing matter orbiting around it, revealing the silhouette of the black hole against the backdrop of space. It's like seeing the effects of the black hole's gravitational influence rather than the black hole itself. This groundbreaking achievement confirms Einstein's theory of general relativity and provides us with concrete evidence of the existence of black holes. And with that, we're one step closer to unraveling the principles of the universe. Number 5. The Hag Moth Imagine you're strolling through the woods, minding your own business, when suddenly you spot a twig covered in moss. Seems normal, right? Well, think again. That seemingly innocent twig might be a cunning hag moth caterpillar, cleverly camouflaging itself to blend in with its surroundings. The body of this insect is adorned with an assortment of leaf-like projections and fuzzy hairs that mimic moss, lichens, and even decaying plant matter. Most of the time, they can blend effortlessly into their surroundings, but they also sometimes stand out thanks to their rather strange appearance. I must say that these creatures resemble small walking wigs. These bristles come in a stunning array of colors, ranging from vibrant oranges and yellows to bold reds and purples. Many people find the appearance of the hagmoth caterpillar incredibly strange, but these creatures are definitely among the most amazing creatures ever discovered on our planet. Number 4. Xenobot Looking at these tiny, insignificant blobs, you'd think they're nothing out of the ordinary. However, these organisms are among the biggest breakthroughs in the scientific community. These blobs are known as xenobots, and these are not just any other organisms. You see, these small bits are organic robots created in the laboratory, capable of things never heard of before. These extraordinary creations are named after the African clawed frog, Xenopus laevis, from which their cells are derived. The cells are carefully reprogrammed and organized into specific shapes and structures to create these xenobots. What's fascinating about xenobots is that they're not just regular robots. They possess some remarkable abilities. Due to their biological origin, they can heal themselves, adapt to their environment, and perform tasks that traditional robots can't. Scientists are still exploring the full potential of xenobots. These tiny living machines could revolutionize various fields from environmental cleanup to targeted drug delivery inside our bodies. Imagine having these biobots swimming through your bloodstream, fixing and healing as they go. Some people might be concerned about the ethical implications of creating living machines. It's a valid point to consider. That's why scientists are working closely with ethicists and policymakers to ensure the responsible and beneficial use of this technology. The field of xenobotics is evolving rapidly and we're just scratching the surface of what these little wonders can do. It's an exciting time to witness the convergence of biology and robotics, where science fiction becomes science fact. Number 3. Stonehenge is a musical instrument. Stonehenge, a mysterious and awe-inspiring monument featuring massive stone slabs arranged in a circular pattern, has fascinated scholars and visitors for centuries. We've pondered its purpose, debated its construction techniques, and the people behind it have been subjects of contemplation and discussion. But now, a team of brilliant experts has introduced a captivating twist by uncovering a musical aspect, adding a harmonious layer to the enigma of this ancient marvel. Researchers from London's Royal College of Art are now saying that Stonehenge isn't just a static monument used for rituals or cosmic activities. Instead, it's a massive musical instrument. Well, let's break it down. Imagine those towering stones as enormous ancient musical instruments waiting to unleash their magical tunes. Researchers have studied the acoustic qualities of the Stonehenge stones, discovering that they produce distinct musical sounds similar to bells or drums when struck. The sounds vary based on the size, shape, and composition of each stone. The researchers suggest that the acoustic properties of the Stonehenge stones may have influenced their intentional selection and arrangement, potentially serving a purpose in the rituals or ceremonies conducted at the site. It's worth mentioning that the study of ancient sites like Stonehenge is complex, and there are often multiple interpretations and hypotheses regarding their original purpose and significance. Nonetheless, this discovery highlights Stonehenge's diverse nature, suggesting it served as more than just an observatory or religious site. It may have provided immense auditory experiences, 
It's like a puzzle with missing pieces. Some fit, and we're left with a century-old debate. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Number 2. Strange Oceanic Spheres Scientists couldn't believe their eyes when they saw this. What you're looking at are strange spheres discovered underwater. In 2015, a group of scientists set sail on a fancy research cruise, all pumped up to discover fascinating deep-sea creatures. But guess what? Life had a different plan for them. Instead of encountering mystical ocean dwellers, they reeled in metal balls the size of softballs. Now you might wonder, what's the big deal about metal balls? Well, hold your breath, because these weren't just any ordinary balls. This collection of underwater spheres turned out to be the most extensive manganese nodules ever found in the mighty Atlantic Ocean. These mysterious nodules are like nature's own little rock formations that can be found in oceans around the world. But usually, the Pacific Ocean takes the record for the highest number of manganese nodules, so it's definitely unusual for us to see it. Now, these spheres grow at an astonishingly sluggish pace, taking millions of years to increase by a mere millimeter. These nodules have a secret. They're loaded with rare earth elements. And guess what those elements are used for? Yep, you got it, making super cool high-tech gadgets like smartphones. Today, scientists are working to learn more about these manganese nodules. Number 1. 900-Year-Old Crusader Sword Now let's take a break from scientific discoveries and look at this historic find. In 2021, a diver named Shlomi Katzen was exploring the shallow waters near Haifa, Israel, when he came across a fascinating relic from the past, a massive iron sword, nearly four feet long, covered in a magnificent display of marine organisms. It's believed that this magnificent weapon once belonged to a crusader who sailed to the Holy Land around 1100 AD. For those not familiar with the Crusades, they were a series of significant military campaigns where European Christians embarked on expeditions to the Middle East, with Jerusalem as their ultimate goal. They aimed to gain control of the Holy Land for the Muslims, sparking centuries of conflict and quests for glory. This amazing find sheds light on a fascinating aspect of history. You see, the area near Haifa, a natural cove, served as a safe haven for ancient ships. It's like a treasure trove of archaeological wonders waiting to be discovered. Thanks to the shifting sands, this 900-year-old sword resurfaced, allowing us to catch a glimpse of the past and the tale it holds. The sword remains encrusted, hindering the extraction of substantial information regarding its origin and history. However, experts have weighed in on this magnificent artifact. According to them, the fact that the sword was found more than 600 feet away from the coast suggests it belonged to a crusader. You see, Muslim forces were focused on building fortifications along the coast to defend against Christian invaders, so it's unlikely that they traveled by sea themselves. Which of these cool finds intrigued you the most? Let me know about it in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.